Velociraptor is one of the world's most well-known dinosaurs. This video will discover some facts that you may or may not have known about this surprisingly small, but surprisingly vicious predator. Paleontologists believe Velociraptor sported feathers. Artists have depicted this dinosaur as possessing everything from one, chicken-like tufts to bright green plumage worthy of a South American parrot. Velociraptor almost certainly wasn't lizard-skinned, as it's portrayed in the movie. Velociraptor weighed only about 200 pounds or about 91 kilograms it is about the same as a good-sized human toddler and achieved an awe-inspiring height of 3 feet. In fact, it would take 6 or 7 adult Velociraptors to equal one average-sized Deinonychus. There's no evidence that Velociraptors hunted in packs. To date, Identified Velociraptor specimens have been of solitary individuals. The idea that Velociraptor ganged up on its prey in cooperative packs probably stems from the discovery of associated Deinonychus remains in North America. This larger raptor may have hunted in packs in order to bring down big hadrosaurs like Tenontosaurus, but there's no particular reason to extrapolate those findings to Velociraptor. Velociraptor's IQ has been wildly exaggerated. Velociraptor was not as fast as a cheetah, nor as smart as a chimpanzee, as suggested in the movie. Even the putatively smartest dinosaur of the Mesozoic era, Trudon, was not smarter than a newborn kitten. The fact is, Velociraptor's IQ has been wildly exaggerated. Velociraptor lived in Central Asia, not North America. People might expect Velociraptor to have been as American, but the fact is that this dinosaur lived in what is now modern-day Mongolia about 70 million years ago. The most famous species is named Velociraptor mongoliensis. Velociraptor's main weapons were single, curved hind claws. Although its sharp teeth and clutching hands were certainly unpleasant, the primary weapons in Velociraptor's arsenal were the curved, three-inch long claws on its hind feet, which it used to slash and jab at prey. Paleontologists surmise that this dinosaur stabbed its prey in the gut in sudden, surprise attacks, then withdrew to a safe distance as its victim bled to death. This strategy emulated millions of years later by the saber-toothed tiger, Velociraptor wasn't as speedy as its name implies. The name Velociraptor is translated from Greek which means speedy thief. It wasn't nearly as fast as contemporary ornithomimids, some of which could attain speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. Even the fastest Velociraptors would have been severely hampered by their short, turkey-sized legs, and could easily have been outrun by an athletic human child. Velociraptor enjoyed lunching on protoceratops. So Velociraptor didn't hunt in packs, and it wasn't particularly big, smart or speedy. How did it survive? Well, by attacking comparably small dinosaurs like the pig-sized protoceratops. One famous fossil displays a Velociraptor and protoceratops locked in life and death combat as they were both buried alive by a sudden sandstorm. And by the evidence, it's far from obvious that Velociraptor had the upper hand. Velociraptor may have been warm-blooded. Cold-blooded reptiles don't excel at pursuing and savagely attacking their prey. Think of crocodiles, which are content to lay patiently and wait until an animal ventures too close. That fact, combined with its probable coat of feathers, leads paleontologists to conclude that Velociraptor and other theropods, including Tyrannosaurs had warm-blooded metabolisms comparable to those of modern birds and mammals.